About two years ago, Unify introduced the Unify Flex Mini. I think this is a great switch based on its $29 price point. Here in 2024, Unify has released the Unify Flex Mini 2.5 gig at a price point of $49. I'm going to be covering the features it does have, a few of the features it doesn't have as compared to the other Unify switches, including how to adopt the switch if you're not running a controller locally. Full disclosure up front, Unify did send me this switch, but the review is not sponsored and all opinions are my own. So let's get started. <music> Now the Flex Mini did not have STP or STP, but we do have that now here on the Flex two and a half gig. I think that's great along with port isolation, storm control, port mirroring, multicast, jumbo frames, flow control, and egress rate limiting. But notably missing from here, there is no 8021X control. So if you have that implemented, you're not gonna be able to do that via this particular switch. The other notable things missing is gonna be the ability to aggregation on this. There is not an option for LECP or any variation of it. So each port is only limited to just the two and a half gigs. There's no bonding of other ports together. Also worth noting, there's no voice VLAN option on this. LLDP MED is not available. So those are two more features that if you need them, this is not the right switch for you. Most users don't need it, but in some business environments, that might be something that you have set up and necessary, uh, just something to take into consideration. Of note, if you're going to adopt this to a external remote controller, SSH is not available either, so you cannot SSH into this and do the set and form. It is a more advanced way to adopt these. If you're adopting them local, obviously not a big deal, but it's worth noting that you'll have to use something like option 43. I'll leave a link to a page that kind of explains that a little bit better, and if I should do a video on that, leave it down below in a comment, uh, and I'll make an option 43 video, but they cover on this page quite a few different options for different routers, including PFSense and many other popular ones. Now, as I noted, if you were doing this locally or attaching it to something where the cloud controller is on the same network, it would automatically show up and be able to be adopted. But because this is my self-hosted controller that is remotely at our data center, I will be adopting it via the option 43 that I mentioned. So here's my Unify Flex 2.5G. We're going to head and click to adopt. It adopts like any other device once it shows up in the controller. Now that it's adopted, we can go to the port manager and we can click on one of the ports. One thing notable here is that you have not only VLAN options, which you had on the Flex Mini, but you also have the tag VLAN management, allow all, block all, or custom, and select which other VLANs you want to send across this particular switch. So that is a welcome enhancement compared to the Flex Mini. Also, if you go to manual and we have the switching modes, as noted, aggregation modes are grayed out here. We can adjust the link speed. So you have your options right there for that. And then we have our ethernet port profiles. Now it does let you know here, we can do ethernet port profiles, but these features such as PoE, 8021X, LODP, VoiceLAN are not gonna be able to carry over to the switch. So if those are part of that profile, that profile features will not carry over because those are functions not available in the switch. But essentially it is a more full featured switch than the original Switch Mini. The Flex Mini does support PoE to power it, but if you have a device that does not support PoE, you can power it by the included USB-C adapter. There is no PoE pass-through on this device. Now, I don't think the new Flex 2.5 gig makes the Flex Mini obsolete, and this at a $29 price point may work great for a lot of people for not only price, but the needs they have of only a needing to assign a native VLAN to any of these. But the Flex Mini 2.5 gig, hey, if you need more than a native VLAN and you need 2.5 gig at only $20 more, I think this is a really good deal. Of note, I'm probably going to use this uh, for a lot of the little mini PC testing. A lot of those have 2.5 gig now, and being able to pass all the VLANs means, well, fun virtualization projects where maybe I want to have all of those VLANs passed on to the virtualization server, and this will be able to fulfill that need. So if you have that little extra enhanced need, hey, this might be the one to go with. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. Head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to have a more engaging discussion on this and other topics. And sign up for my newsletter over at lawrencesystems.com where you connect with me on any of the socials that I'm on when you go there. Thanks.